ನಮ Often regarded as a nominal majority in India, they are in no way a functional majority. The extent to which anti Hindu forces are organized against Hindus in India, whether it be conversionists, militant missionaries, anti guru neo Hindus, or even media, courts, and police, Hindus in no way enjoy a national system that preserves and protects traditional religious Shastra based Hindu life. In the past 30 years, nearly 90% of all prominent Hindu gurus have been labeled with fake sex allegations. There are more than 75 leaders whose names come up on a simple Google search. It is obviously a planned attack. Hindus need to speak up and take seriously the need to restore authentic Hindu practices and ensure something other than stress, addiction, and social disharmony is available for our grandchildren. The exclusive Academy of St. James Independent School in London, UK has long implemented 30 minutes of Sanskrit each morning for all of its students. Officials there have recognized what Hindu rishis and gurukuls have implemented for millennia. The intense chanting of Sanskrit shlokas awakens the intangible intelligence in us and aligns us to the higher truths and purposes of life. It makes physical changes in the brain that are unparalleled anywhere else. Hindu devotees from around the world have banded together to petition local authorities, embassies, government and human rights organizations to wake up the international community to the Hindu holocaust supported by an anti-Hindu ecosystem strongly rooted in India today. The borderless and world's only Hindu nation of Sri Kailasa began organizing various human rights organizations to awaken international support for terrorized Hindus living inside India. The borderless nation has also been running three shifts of around-the-clock outreach and healing both online and on the ground around the world for the past few months since COVID-19 intensified the need for increased support of all communities around the world. you all, let you all open all your three eyes. Bless you all, let you all open all your three eyes. 
and manifest the powers of Mahasada Shiva. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham ತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಲಕ್ಷಮಲ ಅಚಲ ಸರ್ವೀಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಐ ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಒಬೀಸಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ to the divine lotus feet of the supreme pontiff of hinduism his divine holiness bhagavan sri nityananda parameshwaram and i welcome all of the viewers gathered today in all of the social media platforms facebook twitter instagram youtube all of the sjp yajamans kartas manifestors sarva parityagis all of the nhu graduates and nhu students and all of the devotees gathered in the paduka mandirs satsang centers nityanandeshwara hindu temples and sarvagnya peetas all over the world every single day it is so nice to be able to see all of us gathered at this auspicious time the brahma muhurta time when the creation of the universe is at its prime and it is the most auspicious time of the day even in the agama this is that time when it is told to wake up and begin the day so whether you are getting ready for going to bed or getting ready for starting the rest of your day always an alarm goes on inside of us every single day at this time reminding us to log in to nityananda tv and begin watching waiting for the darshan of parameshwara himself we are all truly so lucky to be able to be living at the same time of the avatar the embodiment of parameshwara himself i like to remind all of the viewers to kindly share this video let's enthusiastically inspiringly share the message of shri kailasa of bhagwan every single day and share how much he has inspired all of us and is leading the whole humanity at this day and age in this crisis time into a new world first before beginning today's satsang introduction let us remind ourselves of the great revelations the guidance and teachings that his divine holiness imparted yesterday let us now understand and remind ourselves of yesterday's satsang Nityanandam, yesterday on the occasion of 12th day of Chitrai Brahmotsam celebrations in all the Sarvajna Peetams all over the world, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, His Divine Holiness, Sri Nityananda Parameshivam has blessed the humanity with the state, space and powers of Parameshiva himself. Yesterday's Parameshiva's message directly from Sri Kailasa. One of the most important and very subtle truth Swamiji has revealed 
and made us understand it is a greatest gift which swami ji has given us today which is feeling connection with the guru experiencing oneness with the guru is the most powerful blessing most powerful happening that can happen from the cosmos to each individual which is parameshwara's aashirwad ultimate blessing in the life the life which is the, the very sincere feeling connection with the guru is the very life energy where each one of us can have because swami ji's intense feeling connection with his guru arunagiri yogeshwara because of swami ji's guru's influence and impact intensity on swami ji's very being even the worst persecutions assassination attempts character assassinations lawfare nothing nothing could move swami ji's inner space the only blessing one can have is feeling connection with guru the attacks on swami ji is factual as swami ji has quoted one example this dravisha anti hindu terrorist and racist terrorist gang morphed a video again as swami ji abused swami ji and to do character assassination on swami ji and they aired that video all over the mainstream media the mainstream media cult over which they have complete control including the cinema the entertainment industry cult if we watch those documentary which swami ji has shared yesterday will be able to understand how this dravisha gang thoroughly controls the whole media in india and they file false case of hurting hindu sentiments on swami ji if they air the video like this on the supreme pontiff of some other religion those religious people will file hurting religious sentiments case on them but this dravi dravisha gang before swami ji or his own disciples filed a case for the false abusive morphed content they filed hurting religious sentiments on swami ji so that we all are constantly in defense and can't take offense they have complete control over police media and everything everything means everything they have complete control over the whole ecosystem they air this morphed content hurting the religious sentiments of swami ji's disciples and followers and they file a case on swami ji saying that swami ji is hurting religious sentiments of hindus the person who filed this fir is the black mark who has brought worst shame on the whole indian legal system of tamil nadu police and the whole indian police because the karnataka police was holding this fir and arrested swami ji based on this fir even though all this factual all it is factual it is swami ji's strong feeling connection with swami ji's guru that kept swami ji's very stable because of this one component the feeling connection with guru let us understand life is extreme delusion we realize that only after we waste our whole life in delusion fortunately guru's grace is a nectar life positive energy and it will not allow the life negative concepts ideas or delusion into us fundamentally this anti hindu terrorist gang who has a complete control over the mass media cult and 
entertainment cult all over the india first wanted to kill swami ji let us not think how can they kill and get away with it they kill if we see they have killed hundreds of people in not just broad daylight but they the very big witness at the national level were also killed and everything is just closed without any justice we do not know the long arms this dravisha gang has in the indian ecosystem in each and every multiple level they do not want swami ji to do the spiritual work of reviving sanatana hindu dharma because once if this sanatana hindu dharma gets revived each individual will get empowered when people get empowered they cannot treat us like their slaves and do what they wanted to do that's why it is a very planned act which this anti hindu elements are not letting swami ji to revive this sanatana hindu dharma as our very lifestyle if we watch the documentary which swami ji had shared we will even understand how these anti hindu terrorists do all the crimes and accused swami ji and the sangha to that we are constantly in defense and so much of doubt is generated upon us whether it might be 2010 or 2012 or 2009 we can see the same thread which has been repeated again and again on swami ji they will create some false content on swami ji we may poison on swami ji spreading the lies in each and every media houses where people really think that something has happened and making funny videos on swami ji and making mock at swami ji of even if swami ji delivers any subtle truths any truths regarding which is there in hinduism this media gang makes mock of it so that people will not ask those ideas people will not take it and use it in their own life so that the whole knowledge which swami ji has given to us will be useless and we continue to be slave of them if we see the documentary of out of shadows it is very clearly shown the international anti hindu terrorist mafia gang offense is the best form of defense is their strategy go on offending go on offending go on offending though the truth is something else so that we always kept in defense and we can't offend ourselves so that what they wanted to do has been successfully implemented till now all these are facts but swami ji's guru's grace which was there on swami ji is the strongest feeling connection with swami ji's guru he has been able to stand through all the attacks which had done on swami ji he was able to stand strong and still can deliver those truths which Swa- how swami ji had able to stand strong that knowledge swami ji is, is able to give it to us today the strong powerful life positive non violent understandings which swami ji's guru has given to swami ji have installed in swami ji is responsible for not only not collapsing due to the due to their attack did not even get into any war 
with them and get diverted see once if we get into the war we will be keep on defending ourselves so the life mission will be completely diverted into defending ourselves so when these are the multi level of success which swami ji himself used in his own life first not getting into any of the war not having any anger upon life or the people who are creating that kind of war hence not getting diverted from the life mission so again and again swami ji has been put back into his own mission for which he has come down to the planet earth and giving those truths delivering those higher truths to uh, to very humanity these are all the very strongest and subtle to truths which we also should grasp from swami ji's own life how swami ji is implementing these truths just by having feeling connection with his own guru that his guru is the biggest protection and guru whatever he has taught will be the ultimate is the only ultimate truth if we also can have and experience those feeling connection if we can strengthen that feeling connection towards guru we will understand there is nothing in our life can go wrong and the complete security that guru is always with us and he is there personally guiding each one of us to sail through our life how when swami ji remembers arunagiri yogeshwar the broad smile swami ji has because of this one feeling connection with guru can all of us we are one one of the blessed beings in our life we have a living master who gives this truth truths to us and make us implement in our life by demonstrating the same truths in swami ji's life the only thing which swami ji had the fortunate for fortunate of physically being near arnagiri yogeshwara all of us and unfortunately in this present situation we do not have the physical nearness but swami ji is there with all of us every day through this morning satsang giving these powerful cognitions these powerful truths to us so that we all can realize our higher existence realizing our parama shivatva if each one of us our strong feeling connection inspiration this is the only power by itself today this is the only feeling connection which is making us to run through our life and understand the higher existence of us and swami ji told us in the further satsangs he will be revealing the deeper truths regarding this feeling connection how the feeling connection can make us understand and realize our higher existence of realizing the parama shivatva in us yes with this 
divine revelations. We continue to remind ourselves, understand that among all of the priorities which we have in our daily lives, the connection with Guru and the deep seeking for the ultimate oneness experience with Paramashiva himself is the utmost priority in our lives. Today is an auspicious day, according to Sanatana Hindu Dharma in the Hindu calendar. It is the Chitra Purnami day. Today, in the history of Sri Kailasa, we are observing the 12th anniversary of the Arunachala Sarvagnya Pitam. It is actually a very auspicious historical day with the, the establishment of the Arunachala Sarvagnya Pitam as the very Adhinam monastery complex which His Divine Holiness established in the birthplace, in his own birthplace, and in the most pivotal spiritual hub of Sanatana Hindu Dharma in Tiruvannamalai, South India. It is one of the most important epicenters of the revival of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. The work, dedication, and sacrifice that His Divine Holiness has put in order to establish, revive this Sarvagnya Pita is astonishing to say the least. So today in the Arunachala Sarvagnya Pita, we are observing the 12th anniversary celebrations with the ritualistic means and offering our gratitude to Swamiji himself. Not only that, this Adhinam, as it is known for, is a completely dedicated to the service of the sadhus, the great saints, the monks, ascetics of Tiruvannamalai. Today, during this next one and a half hours, we will be understanding, seeing for ourselves the history of Tiruvannamalai, of Arunachala, the great sacred hill which, is, which we worship, we see as Paramashiva himself in the embodiment of this hill. And then we will observe the way and learn the way, see the way that Arunachala Sarvagnya Pitam has grown, continued its activities despite relentless persecution against His Divine Holiness and the Adinam. Let us first watch, remind ourselves of this day 12 years back. According to the Hindu calendar, the Chitra Purnami had fallen on April 19, 2008, and that was the day that His Divine Holiness held the inauguration celebrations for the, for the Arunachala Sarvagnya Pita. Today, with a mission of complete service, entire service for the sadhus of Tirvannamale, and also being the hub of the work for the biography of the avatar, the Arunachala Sarvagnya Pita is literally bubbling with energy, excitement, continuously every single day. So, let us first watch the this exact day, the happenings of April 19th, 2008, Chitra Purnami of 2008, which we are celebrating today as well, Chitra Purnami today. And it is an auspicious day as well where thousands, if not millions of Hindus do the Girivalam around Arunachala and observe, go to the temple, pay their utmost reverence and worship to Annamalayar. And we all 
observe this great auspicious happening. First, let's remember that inauguration and see for our for ourselves the day that Swamiji himself inaugurated the Arunachala Sarvajna Peetam.
Yes, this was the very day, according to the Hindu calendar, the anniversary celebrations of the inauguration of Arunachala Sarvagni Pitam. So today, Arunachala Sarvagni Pitam, the sannyasis who are there are all celebrating, observing the 12th anniversary celebrating celebrations, 12 years of intense dedication, service, revival of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Today, we will understand the entire history behind this Sarvagnya Pitam and the work that His Divine Holiness has done in order to revive it back. This Sarvagnya Pitam has actually been donated to His Divine Holiness in around 2007. And it was donated by a close relative, biological relative of the avatar, who goes by the name Sandaram Aya, and he is still a very devoted disciple of Swamiji. And we have a video, an interview, where he has described the very early days of setting up the whole Adinam, of how Swamiji has established it, worked for it, and how today it is thriving still. Let us watch that brief interview. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. I am 96 late, last day, very good. What is it? 10 years, we are going to get a lot of money. We are going to get a lot of money. We are going to get a lot of money. We are going to get a lot of money. We in 2006 7 months. Then I was able to do that. I was able to do that. I was able to do that. In 2008, I was able to do that. I was able to do that. I I was able to do that. I Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
as you heard from Saundaramaya himself, who is still a great devotee, connected very much to the Tiruvannamale Adhinam, this Arunachala Sarvagnipita. He himself had was interviewed on the beginning of the very land on which Arunachala Sarvagnipitam was built. He was a testament to you know, how within a matter of just 20 days, 21 days, just within that time, His Divine Holiness had completely cleared the land, done the construction, uh, put in all of the deities and started the Arunachala Sarvagnipitam. It is actually a, literally, if you call it, a marathon and record for the amount of time it takes to just make an Adinam happen. An inspiration to all of us who are working towards becoming a, becoming more and more active, like His Divine Holiness, established in the oneness experience and the state and space of Paramashiva. It is just a marker and an evidence to the fact that Swamiji is an incarnation himself, that just within 21 days, he had turned over completely the land of Arunachala Sarvagnipitam into a bubbling Adina. We will understand more about the days, events, and so forth in a little bit. But first, let's understand the history the beautiful legend of the sacred town of Tiruvannamalai and Arunachala. Tiruvannamalai is known not just as the birthplace of the avatar, but also the, a spiritual hub for great enlightened beings for centuries. This very town was referenced in thousands of years old scriptures. One of the main ones being the Arunachala Mahatyam, uh, Arunachala Purana. This is a Purana that was compiled by Veda Vyasa had, and was written, told from the perspective of Paramashiva himself. In the whole of the Arunachala Purana, Paramashiva himself is speaking. In this Arunachala Puranam, there goes a great epic. First, I would like to make it very clear for all of the viewers that our Puranas are not mythology. Our Puranas are history for us. And more and more, as archaeologists, historians are understanding they are finding more and more evidence that Puranas are surely not a mythology as they have been written off. Ancient Egyptians, ancient Greek and ancient Roman history might be written off as mythology, but not Hinduism. Hindu history was actually recorded, actually happened, as His Divine Holiness says beautifully, more than the very four walls which you are living in, the Puranas are actually real. More than you feel that the four walls you are sitting in are real, the Puranas and our history, Bhagavan, Sri Rama, Sri Krishna, Madhuri, Meenakshi, all of these great incarnations are real. And there was a time, hundreds of years ago, centuries back, before brutal invasions and mental and physical enslavement of an entire civilization that a powerful Hindu civilization once lived. In that civilization, there was powers of people, beings to go in between dimensions, to do the astral travel. There, were, there was powers of other beings, other worldly beings, and other beings from other lokas to visit planet Earth very frequently, extremely frequently. So there goes a great epic history that we 
recall and revere worship in our history when Lord Brahma and Vishnu were having a talk between themselves about who is the greatest God. In order to completely solve this, Bhagavan Paramashiva himself manifests as a great shaft of light, an internal swayambhu, jyoti stambha, means the great shaft of light. And this very jyoti stambha had spanned throughout the universe, it's told, and it is believed, and it is actually true that the Jyoti Stamba, where it had penetrated the earth, is it exactly the place where Arunachala Hill stands today. That is why we worship Arunachala Hill as the sacred fire, as the Jyoti Stamba, the linga of Paramashiva himself on planet earth. Let me just briefly tell the story. Brahma was saying that he is the creator of the whole universe. Only if without him, he could not, there would be no universe at all. Vishnu was saying that he is the sustainer, that he has to be there. Only then the whole planet Earth, the whole world universe itself will survive. Just to stop these silly talks and quarrels, Paramashiva himself manifested as a great shaft. And challenged both Brahma and Vishnu to find the ends of that great shaft. Of course, they would not be able to find. And Vishnu, as he was going down, he realizes that I will not, he, he realizes that he will not be able to find. So he finally surrenders at the feet of Paramashiva says, I will not be able to find this and realizes ultimately the truth that the, the consciousness, the embodiment Shiva, Paramashiva, who is the embodiment of consciousness is ultimately the most important, the most eternal being that there is. However, Brahma, he finds a flower which is falling from the ear of Paramashiva as he is going up to find the other end of Paramashiva. He asks this flower, how long have you been traveling? And the flower replies, just four lifetimes of Brahma. And he was shocked suddenly, how could just a flower be traveling for four lifetimes of Brahma? It was too much for him. So he negotiated with the flower and said, okay, you also tell Paramashiva that you came from the ear and I'm bringing you down from the end of Paramashiva as proof that I have been there. Of course, this did not work. The whole story goes that finally Paramashiva says to Brahma that because of his cunningness, he would not be worshipped in any temple. But after intense tapas, Brahma finally surrenders at the feet of Bhagavan Paramashiva. And Paramashiva allows that wherever he is, the linga is, Brahma will always be there to collect the water which is coming from the linga. So it is a great story, history of the happening of Lingod Bhavamurti, the great shaft of light in all Shiva temples now all over the world. Behind the Garba Mandir, this Murti will be there, the Lingod Bhavamurti, where Paramashiva is appearing as a shaft of light. It is a great tradition that is still worshipped and seen and of course we worship Arunachala hill as the great Jyotis Tamba 
and we see this as the, this epic in the history of time as the source of the great Arunachala hill. In the Arunachala Puranam, Paramashiva promises to the whole of the universe that he will always be available to one and all for in the three forms. One is the Linga, Arunachala Ishvara Linga. Two is the great hill of Arunachala. And finally, the third is as a great incarnation. He promised at that time to come back time and again as incarnations in order to protect humanity and serve humanity as long as the need is required. And from this promise, the great incarnation, the very first incarnation whom we know and worship as Idhayakar manifested in Tiruvannamale and since an unbroken lineage of gurus has happened one disciple and one guru at a time until we observe today the Arunachala Sampradaya has reached his divine holiness himself. His divine holiness was coronated as the next, the Brahma Sukhi by his guru, Mata Vibhudananda Puri. He was coronated as the next in the lineage of the Arunachala Sampradaya in 1994. As you can see, these are, this is the official initiation letter in which Mata Vibhudananda Puri, His Divine Holiness Guru, had officially initiated saying and stating that she herself is the disciple, the only disciple of Isaki Mahamunivar, who is Isaki Swamigal. And as his disciple carry on, carrying on the great lineage that she is a part of, she now initiates her own disciple as Swamiji. And she gives Swamiji a new name at that point, Sri Brahmasuki. He is officially coronated and a traditional photo is taken here. So as you can see in the initiation letter, Mata Vibhudananda Puri is sitting in the same exact spot as Swamiji himself. And all of the items that are traditionally carried down in the lineage, including a conch, which His Divine Holiness still has with him today, this conch, these items are all also pictured with His Divine Holiness. A little bit about Isaki Mahamunivar Maha as well. Isaki Swamigal, as Swamiji had remembered him, and Bata Vibhudananda Puri were great mentors of His Divine Holiness from a very, very young age. And in fact, it was this group of enlightened beings that brought down Paramashiva on planet Earth, that take took the responsibility in order to bring down the great embodiment of Paramashiva. And they held in this beautiful environment of under the gaze of Arunachala Hill, they held and trained his divine holiness until it was ready and time that he begin the avataric mission which he came down for. Isaki Swamigar is a great saint, a great incarnation as well. In this Arunachala Sampradaya, and he had he was extremely well known in Tiruvannamalai for his healing miracles, and he was seen as he was seen worshipped. Beloved as Paramashiva himself.
He is divine. You will call that only as torture. But I am so fortunate. I am grateful to my parents. They did not take me away from my gurus. I am going around the hill alone, a small boy, reading. Still I remember. The Arunagiri Andadi, the hundred songs on Arunachala, written by Guvinamach Shivayar, a great saint. Still I can repeat the whole hundred verse by heart. With that book I am walking. I have been asked to go around the hill every day by my heartless guru, <laughs> Kuppamal, Vibhudananda Devi. In the night, I am supposed to go around because in the daytime, no time. I will be sometime going to school or sitting with her and studying the Vedas, Upanishads. And in the, usually in the daytime, it will be hot, sun. So after the sunset, she will tell, ah, now lessons are over. Please go around the hill and come back and sleep. As if it is the next door, you go and come back and sleep. If I go around the hill, when will I sleep? Because by the time I come back, I have to take bath in the tank and go to the temple for Suprabhadam. Hey, hey, Shiva is, Lord is waking up. Arunachala Shiva is waking up. You should go and see him early morning when he wakes up. So I have to run. Anyhow, I went round every day and still I keep that as a habit. Still, if I am staying in Arunachala, I will go around the hill, only then I will come and sleep. Of course, now for security reasons, I go in the car, don't go by walk, but whenever I can, even now I don't miss walking around the hill in the night. If I have a group of disciples with me, brahmacharis or brahmacharinis, I will always walk and that will be the best moment of my life. The way I run, the way I the high energy you can see around me. One day night, some ten hyenas, hyena is a animal, will be very shy as alone, but will attack and kill any human being if they are group. Children means simply they will kill. Simply they will kill. Children are the best dinner for them. They will kill. I was walking alone. It was Amavasya. Or just near Amavasya. No light. Dark. In those days, the path for going around Arunachala Hill was very dark. A narrow road. Not even a road. Like a forest road. Some ten hyenas are standing in front of me suddenly. In the midnight. I am all alone with just that one book of songs of Arunachala from the navel, sorry, lower abdomen, Swadhishtana, I gave the voice, Arunachala. I don't know whether the whole Arunachala hill vibrated with that. There appeared an old man with a stick, drove the hyenas away, they all ran away, Somehow I got saved. Otherwise, I would not be here. I will not be sitting here. I would have been sitting in their stomach within next few hours. And anyhow, I came back and I narrated the whole story to my guru, Vipudananda Puri, with the deep feeling from tomorrow I don't need to go to Girip, the hill rounding, walking around the hill. And after describing with all the masala and the whole thing, she heard everything. Wow! Arunachala saved you. And I also, of course, Arunachala saved me, no doubt. Next day I expected, see, once Arunachala will come and save, but how can that be a routine? 
So, next day, she said, ah, come on, go for the hill rounding. I was shocked. I asked, what do you mean? Will every day Arunachala come and save me? She just hit at me with one question. Will every day Ainas will come and attack you? Listen, I asked her, will every day Arunachala come and save me? She said, will every day Ainas will come and attack you? That's it. My mother, who is always overprotective of me, I'm going and telling her, she heard the whole thing, then end of the day she asked me, end of the whole story, what did Pati tell? Pati means my Guru, Vibhudananda Puri. What did she tell? I said what she said. Then she just walked into the room, into the house and said, all right, you go for the walking around the hill. She just walked into the house and said, you go now. Really, I'm telling you, it was a hit on me. Yes, will every day Aina's come and attack me? Then she said, if every day Arunachala also will come, go. I tell you, even now I am seeing it in my life. Whenever Hainas come, Arunachala comes and protects me. It may be 10 Hainas or 12 Hainas or 600 Hainas. Arunachala comes and protects. If I would not have gone next day for the, my walk around the hill, Giri Pradakshana, I would have continued to be a human being with one divine experience. Because I decide to go, now I am a divine being, one human experience of screaming. If I did not go next day, I would have been a human being with one divine experience of Arunachala coming and protecting me. Because I went, now I am a divine being having only one human experience of screaming in fear. Nowadays I don't even need to scream and call Arunachala. He is there. Before even the Ainas come here, drives them out. Destroys the Hainas. Any problem comes in the form of Hainas. He takes care. He protects me. He drives them out. On this auspicious day of Chitra Pavlami, when the Adinam was inaugurated, Swamiji also planted the sacred sapling of the banyan tree on this day. The banyan tree which is in the Pridhi Adinam, the Adi Kailash Sarvadhi Pijam. The sapling of the very banyan tree was planted in Thiruvannamalai and today we will see that the very sapling has grown into a tree which is now a spiritual hub radiating the energy, the Pachala Achara which is living yet stationary it's sound which radiates the energy of Paramashara energy of super consciousness all of this I think we see the picture we can understand the amount of preparation the amount of arrangement that have happened just within a span of 15 days. We should understand that the day on which it was inaugurated, the Chitra Pornami, is a day.
day when millions are expected to gather to perform the Giriwalam, the circumambulation of the Arunachala Hill. And all these people were invited and welcome to join all the celebrations. They were served and all the services were offered to them. The, the Annadan serving with food. All the Galeria, the uh, program the morning. Established and energized. One, which is giving all of us that super conscious breakthrough, enlightening all of us, raising us to live and radiate the state, space, powers, and being of Paramashiva. Like we all know, Swamiji has been conducting the Paramashivoham level 2 program and we have successfully completed three batches where thousands of participants have joined us from over 87 countries around the world joining us in these hard times during the corona lockdown quarantined in their homes and yet Swamiji makes himself available at the comfort of their homes giving us the experience through various techniques, processes, and ultimately his initiation, the darshan itself. People have experienced breakthroughs at multiple levels, whether it is manifesting health, wealth, successful, fulfilling relationships, manifesting powers, the various extraordinary powers that is given to us that we are capable of manifesting, as mentioned in the Agamas, and ultimately experiencing that Paramashivatva within us. Amongst the thousands of people who have had their own unique experiences, today we have one of the participants of the Paramashivoham program, Masudha from London, who is here to share with us her experience of Paramashivoham, though it is impossible to put it in words, but doing her best to try to explain to us what was her experience, what she went through, and why she would really recommend that anybody who is watching us today try and immediately register yourself for this program. So, Masudha, Nityanandam, thank you so much for joining us. Please go ahead and share with us what you want to share with all our audience. Please unmute yourself and you can go ahead. Yananam. Yananam, everyone. Thank you for having me here. And uh, my gratitude to Swamiji for even allowing me near, near his program. Thank you very much. So I am Siddha from London and I joined the Batch One um, program. And it's for me, it's just been amazing. It's one word encapsulates the whole program. And that is that it was intense. I don't think I've ever done 16 hours a day for 16 days in any program I've ever been on. And this was like, I kept saying, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but with Swamiji's grace, I finished it. And I surprised myself. It was just something different. I didn't think I had the uh, capacity to go through. So, I mean, for me, it's just been such an eye opener, the course. Um, what did Swamiji give us? He gave us so much. Um, we ha we had like a sort of so many components to the whole program. We had completions and power manifestations and a, such deep understanding given to us about the about consciousness and um, gender gender issues and wealth break you know wealth completions and relationship completions so much enriching that we learned the concept you know the underlying and enriching and oh my god the best of all was just the darshans every day Swamiji gave us it was just they were filled with love and such intense energy I I just couldn't wait to have darshan again and again and again so I haven't finished the course I now feel that I have an amazing toolkit a, a sort of a manual for life 
I know that, oh, if I'm facing some kind of issues, how I can sit down and do completion, or if I'm stuck, you know, how can I explore um, investigating how maybe I can enrich others. So I have kind of a, like a, literally a plethora of tools that I could just, all I need to do is understand what I can use at when. So to me, it's just like a life skill and a book that everyone should have at their fingertips and just understand how to use it and start using them. So for me, the, for just the course has, or the whole program has been sort of, was just sort of like bringing me so many different skills and understanding. So I can't wait to go out in, in, in the world and start using all those tool, tools. So for me, I think, um, I can't, as I said, I can't wait to apply all these tools, but the best thing I think I'm walking away from the program is that I know the Swamiji has filled, filled me with um, the Paramashapatwa and reprogrammed my DNA and re-energized me. And I feel so, in fact, I feel ready to go out in the world and say, okay, bring it on. I'm going to, I'm going to try and deal with this in Swamiji's own way. And the, I think when I, Every time I look at some, you know, Venkateshwara picture or something in my temple, and I think, oh my God, Swamiji, oh, I remember that darshan and I remember this. And so it all keeps coming flooding back to me. And so it's just made it all so real. And one thing I feel really just so touched by is on the last day, Swamiji said, I was just sitting thinking, oh my God, it's been so amazing. And um, I feel like I've just had a rebirth because I've just been put into this pressure cooker and I've come out of this other end. And suddenly I, I feel like, okay, things have changed within me. I'm looking at things differently. And um, I thought, oh my God, I really feel I've had a rebirth. And just literally a few minutes later, I hear Swamiji, you have all been reborn. And I just thought, oh my God, that's exactly what I was thinking. So for me, it's just been an amazing um, journey. And I really feel I've, 16 days and I've come out um, you know a person with a different vision and uh, ready to tackle things in a different way thank you Swamiji thank you for allowing me on this journey and um, if I could I will do it again soon thank you Nityananda everyone and I urge everyone don't wait just go for it it's just beautiful thank you Nityananda Ma Aruna Chela Shiva Nitya Aruna Chala Shiva Om Guru Nitya Nanda Irayai Thiru Anna Malai Aruna Chala Mema Nida Uru Vai Avadaritai Nitya Nanda Arul Purivai Aruna Chala Shiva Om Nitya
மகள் பூவியினில் மாதவம் புரிந்திட இடமதில் கலந்தனலே திரு அருணயம் பதித்தனிலே சிலை வடி வருணா சல உனை வணங்கிட அடிமுடி அறியா அயனாரி கருணையில் இடும்பை நீங்கினரே நித்யானந்தம் அடைந்தனரே அருணாச்சல சிவவோ நித்ய அருணாச்சல சிவவோ குரு நித்யானந்த இரையா திரு அண்ணாமலை அருணாச்சலமே மானிட உருவாய் அவதரித்தாய் நித்யானந்தா அருள் புரிவா வம் புரிந்தவரும் நித்யன் பதமலர் பற்றிடுவா என் வகை யோகியராயினும் ஈசன் நித்யானந்த அருணாச்சல தேவனை சரணம் அடைந்திடுவார் உடன் சகல அருள் பெறுவா அருணாச்சல சிவவோ நித்ய அருணாச்சல சிவவோ குரு நித்யானந்த இரையாய் திரு அண்ணாமலை அருணாச்சலமே மானிட உருவாய் அவதரித்தாய் நித்யானந்தா அருள் புரிவா மருணையில் நித்யனை அவதரித்தார் பூவுலகினை காக்க வந்தார் ஈசனை அவதரித்தமையால் நித்யனும் இறை வடிவாகவே அழலானான் அவ்வழல் தரும் நிழலானான் ஐயன் பரம் பொருளாய் ும் சிறப்புரையை தினப்போதும் உயர் நித்யானந்த அருணாச்சலனேனும் தவசீலனை நினைத்திட முக்தியே வரும் சத்திய தத்துவமே நித்ய அருணாச்சல சிவமே அருணாச்சல சிவவோ அருணாச்சல சிவவோ குரு நித்யானந்த இரையாய் திரு அண்ணாமலை அருணாச்சலமே மானிட உருவாய் அவதரித்தாய் நித்யானந்தா அருள்
பெண் நான் அலியுறு நன்னா சோதியன் இறை நித்யானந்தன் அருணாச்சல சர்வேசன் மண்ணா மல உடல் அகமேன நன்னா மண்ணாய் மாய்ந்திட ஒன்னாதே நித்ய அருணன் மூலம் வருவா அகையிருளை கலைந்திடுவா அருணாச்சல சிவவோ நித்ய அருணாச்சல சிவவோ அக்னிகள் கூடி மேருவின் வடிவான நித்யன் மேதினியை காப்பான் சீரிய அருணாச்சல நித்யானந்தன் சேவித்தே தரிசனம் செய்திட தவப்பயனை அழித்திடுவார் நித்ய சிவமாய் மாற்றிடுவார் We will offer our reverence and worship to Mahavishnu in the incarnation of Kalla Lagha. On the 13th day of Chitre Brahmotsava, when we revere and worship the great incarnation of Mahavishnu, who descended in order to wed his sister, Meenakshi Parasati, to Sundareshwara Paramashiva, Kalalagar is gracing in the Salva Salva Alakaram and in the Ashtavaki, the divine force. Let us now offer our great reverence and worship to Kalalagar. ாந்தாக்காரம்புதகசயன பத்மநாபம் சுரேஷம் விஷ்வாதாரம் ககன சதுஷம் மேகவர்ணம் சுபாங்கம் லக்ஷ்மீகாந்தம் கமலநயனம் யோகிபிர்தியானகம் எம் வந்தே விஷ்ணும் பவபயஹரம் சர்வலோகைகநாதம் மேகஷ்யாமம் பீதகௌதேஜவாசம் ஸ்ரீவத்சாங்கம் கௌஸ்துபோத்ஸிதாங்கம் ீகாயதாட்சம் விஷ்ணு வந்தே பவபயஹரம் சர்வலோகைகநாதம் ஓம் தந்தோர்வோஸ்மூர்வஜந்தூர்வஜந்தூர்வா ஸ்ரீ சுந்தரராஜஸ்வாமி நமோ நம ரூபமாப்பி ஓதீப்பேதோபிஷோகஸ்தமத்தியமாபீவனம் சதிஷாதிஷாணாஹிதும் ஜேர்தாதவேதோ காமஸ்வம்புருசந்தகதே அபிப்பிரதாஹிஸ்ரீயமாபரிபாதய ஸ்ரீ சுதராஜஸ்வாமி நமோ நம தீபந்தருஷாமி அமிர்தே அமிர்தோத்தவே அமிர்தமருஷிணி அமிர்தம் ஸ்ராவஜ ஸ்ராவஜஸ்வாஹீ சுதராஜஸ்வாமி நமோ நம உடான் வேதயாமி ஓம் பிரதக்னோ சத்தியம் பரம் பிரம்ம புருஷங்கிருஷ்ணபிங்கலம் 
Purtharedam Miropaksham Vishwarupayave Namo Namaha Sarvasyatye Sarvasyajitye Sarvamevatena Apkoti Sarvasyatye ಶ್ರೀಮಂಪ್ರೀತಮಂಗಿತಮಂದೇವೂತಮಸ್ವಾಹಿಗುಂಶಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗಿಂಗ
Mahavishnu, Shri Manarayana himself, happened in the form of Shri Narasimha Swami and destroyed the demon Asura Hiranyakashipu. The intense energy and power of Shri Narasimha Swami was too powerful for the whole universe to be to bear. Hence, Paramashiva, in the form of Shri Sharabheshwara Swami, came down and took back Shri Narasimha Swami. During this Leela of Paramashiva, in the form of Sharabheshwara, Sharabheshwara assumed a form of lion, lion face and yari body and had two wings onto the right wing of Sharabheshwara Swami. The energy of Pratyangira Devi was there and onto the left hand, left wing of Sharabheshwara Swami, the presence of Shulini Durga was there. Today, we are now offering the worship at the feet of Sharabheshwara Swami and Pratyangira Devi commemorating their Leela of taking back Narasimha Swami the next day of Vaishaka Shukla Purnima's Eve. Raktabham Suprasannam Trinayana Mamrton Matta Bhusha Bhiramam Karunyam Bodhimisham Varadam Abhayadam Chandra Rekhavatam Sam Shankhad Bhyata Kilasha Pratihata Vidhina Bhasa Manatma Bhasam Sarvesham Saluvesham Pranata Bhayaharam Pakshirajam Namami Om Dhura Siddhur Vadhur Vandam Dhur Vadanya Osman Dhur Vajidam Dhur Vajam Vajam Dhur Vamastam Devanam Asidatnitamam Apritam Hamdashtadam Hamanhitamam Devahotam Hamadhritam Asar Havartan Andrakum Vaswam Akwa Mitrasya Kvatakshusha Prekshema Bharma Samvit Kama Atwa Hikum Jisham Shri Sarveshar Swamne Namaha Dhrupama Grabhyami Om Uddi Vyasvadada Vedo Bhagyan Nirvi Timnama Pashogastam Atyama Bhajivanam Chadishadusha Amana Hikum Dhirjada Vedo Gama Shvambara Shandakate Abhipradakna Agahi Shri Yama Paripadaya Shri Sarveshar Swamne Namaha Dhipandar Shajami Om Amrte Amrtodhvane Amrtarshini Amrtam Shravaga Shravaga Swaha Shri Sarabheshwar Swamne Namaha Nivedjan Nivedajami Om Saluveshaya Vidmahe Pakshi Rajaya Dhimahi Tannasharabha Prachodayat Om Shri Sarabheshwar Swamne Namaha Shankatasya Kuharam Arakta Netratrayim Balendu Dyuti Maulikam Bhagavatim Pratyangi Ram Bhavaye Om Dhurasi Dhurva Dhurvantan Dhurvatanyo Osman Dhurvatitan Dhurvayam Vayam Dhurva Maha Om Shri Pratyangi Ram Bhai Namon Maha Dhubma Grapayami Om Muddi Ipyas Vajata Vedo Pagna Nirriti Mama Pashugis Chamakyama Bahajiva Nanchadishodisha Mano Higumsi Jata Vedo Gama Shampuru Shanjagate Abhi Bhradak Nagahi Shriyama Paripataya Om Shri Pratyangiram Bhai Namon Maha Yekahar Didi Pamsandarishayami Om 
मधुवातायते मधुक्षर विधव माध्वीर्न सतोषधी मधुनक्त मुषति मधुमत्थिवग्रज मधुद्यौरस्तु नीता मधुमानो वनस्पतिर्मधुमागमस्तु सूर्य माध्वीर्गा वो नह मधु 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 ओं श्री प्रतिंगिराबाई नमो नम नाना विधा नैवेद्या निवेदयामी ओ बहुक्वश्वाय बह्वजा विकाय बहुव्रीहिय वाय बहुमाशतिलाय बहुरण्याय बहुहस्तिय बहुदासपुषाई रईमत्ये पुष्टिमत बहुदासपुषाई राजास्तु ओं सर्वे सर्वस्तिजिमे तेनाति सर्वती ओं श्री प्रत्यंगिराबाई नमो नम सर्वेवदेवी स्वूपाय भगवते श्री निनंदिवाय नमो नम सर्वोपचार पूजाथे सर्वापराध क्षमापनाथे समस्त मंगल प्राप्तर्थे महामंगल नीराज संदर्शयामी रक्षा धारयामी you all let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasada shiva om nityananda paramashivam om nityananda paramashivam om nitya ಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respect. I welcome all the living. and practicing hindus all over the world visitors viewers sjp kartas ejamans manifestors shri mahans mahans kotari santani das kayakalpa yoga participants kailasas e gurukul students kailasas nhu students everyone sitting with us all over the world i welcome all of you with my love and respect paramashivas message directly from kailasa today i want to bring the attention of the whole world 
to this continuous Hindu holocaust happening in India and many countries, especially in India. Understand? First thing I wanted to put this on record. I strongly condemn mob lynching of two my own sampradaya sadhus belong to akada parishat panch dasnam juna akada sadhus and the assistant driver of those sadhus, all three brutally lynched by terrorist mob in Maharashtra's Palgar. India's independence has no way made we sadhus safe. Hindu leaders, Hindu sadhus getting mob lynched, killed is thousand year old regular happening and India's independence has no way made us safe or stopped this continuous persecution. O Hindus all over the world, I beg you all with humbleness, please wake up to this truth. Please wake up to this reality. Please understand the next few points I am going to express. First thing, fortunately we got the video of the sadhus getting lynched and killed by the terrorist gang. If we did not get this video by now, Media would have produced marked video of this sadhus raping some girl and they would have created a either illegal affair or rapist story around the sadhus and justified their killing. I tell you, neither India's mass media cult nor India's entertainment industry is honest or basic moral, basic integrated to the truth. I tell you, the whole ecosystem created by the India's mass media cult and Indian entertainment industry, whether cinema or television, continuously projecting Hindu sadhus, Hindu leaders as negative role, continuously Hindu sadhus and Hindu leaders and the Hindu way of dressing up is projected as villains, characterless, cheap comedians, every, so much of hate speech, so much of hate speech directly, indirectly, subtly and brutally, the grand narrative Hindu leaders and Hindu sadhus are anti-social, illegal, immoral, need to be eliminated as early as possible. The grand narrative is already built so strongly.
வெதர் திரிபுவனம் ராமலிங்கம் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ஆர் எஸ்டே த சாது ஸ்கில்ட் இன் பால்கர் கல்பவிரக்ஷ் கிரிஜி மகாராஜ் சுஷில் கிரிஜி மகாராஜ் அண்ட் தேர் டிரைவர் ஆல் த்ரீ வேர் கில் ப்ரூட்டலி பீங் பீட்டன் பை த டெரரிஸ்ட் கேங் But I tell you, I am telling you, O Hindus, we need to wake up to this. We need to bring attention of the whole world. all the human rights organizations all over the world should know what is being done to hindu sadhus and hindu leaders and hindu thinkers outside india constantly hindus are projected as aggressors and terrorists by indian media understand this dangerous ecosystem built in india by mass media cult and the entertainment industry the funding training and the whole ecosystem of mass media cult and entertainment industry television tv serials and cinema the whole ecosystem is absolutely anti hindu look at any movie villain the negative characters will have hindu symbols brightly established presented on their bodies but never heroes heroes will not have any symbol of hinduism if you see the percentage less than 1% only heroes will be wearing hindu symbols 99% only villains will be having hindu symbols constantly brainwashing the society hindu sadhus are criminals and worst grand narrative is built against hindu sadhus and hindu thinkers hindu leaders if we did not get the video of tirubavanam ramalingam getting threatened and people forcing him to convert move away from hinduism if we did not get that video within few hours of his murder tamil nadu media houses would have produced more than produced some videos either tribonam ramalingam having some illegal affairs or real estate problems or money issue something they would have produced and change the whole murder into some fight between two people and he got murdered maybe money issue or real estate land issue or illegal affair issue i am telling you myself personally and my sanyasis nityananda order sanyasis brahmacharis devotees we have faced this mob lynching for last 20 years and i know 
how painful it is and terrorizing. I am telling you, the ecosystem in India is such. Whether Tribonam Ramalingam murder or this yesterday three, two sadhus and one of his assistants, their assistants, driver, all three getting mob lynched, killed brutally. None of these murders neither the world will remember nor there will be any justice. Nobody will be convicted. That is the way things happen, I tell you. Or too minimum. I am collecting the statistics, data, analyzing. Literally, 99.9% .9 will go scot-free. The whole ecosystem is such. I tell you, unless we Hindus wake up to this truth and get the international attention, politicians will have their own priorities. Even politicians are not going to attend to you. Politicians will have their priorities. Hindus, wake up. Politicians are not going to attend to you unless you get the international attention to this continuous Hindu holocaust. I tell you, because I myself have gone through this multiple times. See, now these people who are arrested for this Hindu sadhus mob lynching, they will come out in bail in next few days. Actually, if we did not get this video, nobody would have been arrested. They would have made another video, marked the video of those sadhus either having illegal affair or raping somebody or some other illegal, immoral activity. And they would have paid, the sadhus would have been painted by the media as illegal, immoral, antisocial element. And the whole story would have ended there. Now, even now, even with this video, I am telling you how things will go. I have seen, I have seen from first hand experience, I am telling you how things will go. The people who killed him. And I have a serious doubt. The exact conspirators would not have even been arrested. Even if they are arrested, they will get bail and come out. And neither they will be convicted nor they will suffer any loss in their life. But the fear created among the Hindu sadhus and Hindu leaders, the way they are terrorized, neither the next generation will have confidence to take up Hindu sannyas life, think for Hinduism, nor the existing ashrams and leaders will try to be active. They will all just decimate because of the amount of hate speech, fear the Hindus need to face. I tell you, I have faced all this for last 20 years. Personally, and my sadhus and my sannyasis.
रिच बैकग्राउंड सक्सेसफुल यूथ टू कप सन्यास टू सर्व द सोसाइटी वी हिंडूस वेन वी आर इंस्पायर्ड वी बिकम साधुस नॉट टेररिस्ट इन सम रिलीजियन वेन पीपल गेट ओवर इंस्पायर्ड बाई देअर रिलीजियन दे बिकम मिशनरीज एंड कन्वर्ट अदर्स इन सम रिलीजियन when they get over inspired by their religion they become terrorist and kill others in hinduism when we become over inspired we become sadhus and start meditating to achieve enlightenment my sadhus people the successful youngsters who came to my organization my sangha sadhus and householders i know my disciples and devotees how they are brutally beaten and are after this whole mob lynching whether the person is alive or dead nobody people who are the terrorists who have attacked us terrorists who killed they will not suffer they will not be punished i am seeing this last 20 years one of my kailasavasi sambhavananda he literally lost his eyes in tiruvarur when the mob lynched him he is from very rich family he has left everything came to kailasa to serve the hinduism with wife and son whole family i am giving you one name i can give you the long list sri yogananda long list parabrahmananda my female sanyasis female monks i am telling you no terrorist who attacked us for last 20 years is convicted last 20 years we are facing mob lynching hundreds of mob lynching whether our sadhus survived the mob lynching or died the terrorist gang not a single fellow is convicted till now but already our organization has collapsed the people who came to serve hinduism and the whole world they lost confidence and the next generation is terrorized the amount of hate speech media does on hindu sadhus and hindu leaders o oh, hindus wake up and get the international attention or within next 20 years your sons daughters and your next generation will not be hindus they will not even remember you guys if they remember you guys they will be ashamed of you never remembering you guys with pride understand already the educated hindus are brainwashed they are ashamed of our past no they are neither told the right hindu history nor they are allowed to feel the great contribution of hindus we are made to feel ashamed of our past by absolute lies and brainwashing in every level whether mass media cult or cinema or tv brain or the print media brainwashing hindus and the whole world against hindus hinduism 
so much of hate speech and i am telling you including school books so much of hate speech distorted history so much of poison dumped down hindus i tell you for this giving voice today if i was available for indian police i will be arrested within 24 hours i have not mentioned any individual pointing fingers i have not spoken anything against any community any religion anybody i am just bringing the whole world's attention for this continuous hindu holocaust and mob lynching happening against hindu sadhus and hindu leaders just for this they will they would have arrested me if i was available fortunately by parameshwar's grace i am not available to them as on now and parameshwar is protecting me kalabairava is protecting me i'll never be available for them anymore if i was available to them just for this speech just for this they would have arrested me if possible they would have handed over me to a mob and the mob would have killed me are they have done this so many times fortunately i am not dead police has handed over me to mob we have enough evidence when they have not handed over they attempted to kill me i have enough evidence police attempted to kill me to eliminate me you are let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasada shiva om nityananda parama shivo ham om nityananda parama shivo ham om nitya Shivoham
ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವೋ